Around the Rock is an annual self-supported bike ride around the Teton Mountain Range. The course is half pavement, half gravel, and 155 miles in total. In 2019, I did the whole ride in one day. This year, I decided to do it in two, stopping halfway at Flag Ranch. We are 33 miles in, almost 34. This is one of the big bridges on the rail trail. All right, this is this is what it's all about. I can't show too much of this part, but this this first half, which is basically all gravel, is just gorgeous. It's, this is what makes the whole ride worth it, as far as I'm concerned. Going into the park, it's just icing on the cake, but I would, I would do this right if it was all like this. The ride actually went really well. I felt really good the whole ride. Um, definitely got tired towards the end, you know, I got achy joints and stuff like that, but felt super solid um, the whole way. Uh, when I got here though, I went and used the restroom and then went to go check in for, for my cabin. Um, and while I was checking in, I was starting to feel pretty <laughs> lightheaded and getting a little queasy. And then uh, finally rode over here and um, and got in and laid down. Um, not sure if just a dehydration thing or the fact that it's just really hot right now. Um, but that was apparently my limit for today. <laughs> uh, maybe could have continued if I took a, a good long rest and and uh, recovered, but I'm I'm glad I decided to do to do two days. So right now I have all the blinds closed. This is how it was when I came here. And that's keeping it a lot cooler. It's, it's really very hot outside. There's no air conditioning or anything in these. Um, no power whatsoever. Um, but really looks pretty solidly built and a lot cooler than it is outside. It's quite comfortable in here. So I'm just gonna recover and get rehydrated and then we'll see what I do this afternoon. All right, just sat down for dinner. Went over to the lodge and ordered this. Uh, it's not cheap, <laughs> as you might expect in a national park, but that's a lot of food, so I'm excited about that. It's about 6.30. I'm feeling a whole lot better. Uh, I've been napping for a few hours, so I'm gonna eat dinner. Um, I've been listening to some podcasts that I downloaded before. There's absolutely no service out here, so if you go over to the lodge, you can grab some Wi-Fi. Um, really, really glad I grabbed this cabin. It's a little bit more expensive than a tent site, but I think it's well worth it, especially for this type of trip. Um, so I'm gonna eat, try to get to bed early and get out in the morning. sleep last night uh, still still pumped about that cabin just a just a fun little in between between camping and uh, and actually renting like a hotel type room um, yeah temperature was great wasn't uncomfortable at all great mattress I got up this morning with the Sun about 545 is when I woke up and was gonna get like breakfast or maybe stock up on my snacks Instead of doing that, I'm riding to Colter Bay right now, and I'll get my snacks and stuff for the day there. Um, just taking my time, 
enjoying the, the beautiful views. This is kind of where the fire burned through. They've had a few different fires over the years. Of course, the ones from, uh, I think it was 88, pretty famous. My dad actually got to participate in helping to fight those. This one, I'm not sure. Can't remember. This one looks old though, so it could be part of those. There is a, I would say a significant climb out of Black Ranch. So, it's not hard. section of gravel on the whole ride. All right, you're going up Teton Pass. This is definitely the, the easiest part of the pass. <laughs> um, and Teton Pass is definitely the hardest part of this ride by far. But it's only six miles, so just gotta plug away. Last time I had to do kind of a walk, ride strategy. Ride for a while, walk for a bit. Um, just so much pressure on my knees and stuff. I have better gearing this time, but it's still really steep. So we'll see how it goes. But once I'm over this, I'll talk to you guys at the top. By some miracle, I managed to make it from bottom to top without stopping once. Just one more obstacle stood in my way. The descent down Teton Pass into Idaho isn't as steep as the climb up, but unfortunately it does mean riding in traffic. There was more traffic today than there was two years ago and unfortunately a heavy crosswind made bike handling a bit more tricky. Thankfully it all worked out. From here it was just a quick five mile ride back into Victor, Idaho where I had started.